All right, this is going to be an introduction to the Zen Garden assignment. So uh, basically what the Zen Garden assignment is, is uh, a project that's been around for for ages. Um, and I don't just mean my project. I mean a web design project that's been on the web for um, almost two decades now. Uh, basically, at the beginning of when CSS was, you know, sort of just brand new and uh, people were trying to uh, kind of ex expound on the benefits of it. Um, there was a, a guy named David Shea who started this project. Um, and basically what he did was he created a um, an HTML page and you're not supposed to touch the structure. And the, the point was to be to show that you can style using CSS style sheets, you can style um, the structure any way you want so that so that it, the presentation of it looks different and without even touching the actual structure. And it was really to, to show how important it was to separate structure from presentation um, so that the structure could always exist on its own and then people could just, as necessary, go and change the styling. So what he did was he you know, made this thing that was like basically a showcase um, of CSS design. And so people, designers from all over the world would come and take this challenge and they would make designs and stuff. And so, um, and I'll show you the, the CSS uh, <clears throat> Zen Garden website in just a moment. Anyway, but that was pretty revolutionary and still people will contribute to this project. And Anyway, so down here, what we have are some project requirements. You can use this base starter zip folder um, as the basis of the files that you're going to use. And I'll show you another way if you if you want to just download it straight from the website, another way that you can do it. Um, you're not supposed to touch the HTML at all, okay? Um, you're not supposed to do anything with the HTML. You're only supposed to style it with uh, your own images, colors, and so on using a CSS style sheet. That's it. Um, do The only thing, the only exception to that rule um, is that in the HTML you're allowed, actually you're sort of required, to put a, a link there to Google Fonts for whatever the fonts are that you're going to use. Um, and the only other thing that I would say that you could touch is uh, where I say don't touch anything else in this page. The only other thing that you could touch is if you download the file, not from here, because um, I've, I've modified this to make it available for you and make it clear and easy what you're supposed to do with within the HTML. Uh, but if you download it from straight from the Zen Garden website, the only other thing that you're allowed to touch is um, to change the name of the style sheet. Okay. Um, the other thing that I don't have here that you could add is if you want to use a reset style sheet, um, you can add a reset style sheet. That's the only other thing that you can do. Other than that, you're not allowed to change any of the tag names. You're not allowed to, you know, add classes or IDs. You're not allowed to add or delete any of the HTML. Okay. So to get started with this assignment, um, you're going to uh, visit CSS and Garden website. Okay, and um, get started with the base files. And uh, what I want to show you, are, here's some past student work if you wanted to look at it on your own. There's a whole bunch more stuff that I'm going to just sort of glide through, though. Um, but if you were to click on this, for instance, you would have to click on Visit Site down here in order to actually go to the site. Otherwise, you just get a basic screenshot. Um, but let's just take a look at some other stuff real quickly. Okay, so this is the Zen Garden website itself. Now, what I was referring to before is if you wanted to download the HTML file right here, um, you can click on this file and it will download like, like it did here um, in your browser. And don't download the CSS file because the CSS file is for this particular web page. All right, so just download the HTML file and then what you can do is open it up in your editor, whatever editor you happen to be using. And I want to show you like right here, remember I said if you downloaded it from the CSS and Garden website, you could change the name of the style sheet. What you would want to do is you could leave it as style.css and then that's what you would have to name your style sheet. But get rid of this question mark, which is referred to as a query mark. Uh, get rid of the question mark and everything after it. Okay. And then you can save that file. Now, 
the next thing that you would want to do is uh, up here, and I'm just going to add a comment so that it's commented out like this, and we'll say uh, something like Google Fonts link goes here or something like that. Okay, so that's where your Google Fonts link would go. And then if you're going to use a reset, all right, so if you're going to use a reset file, then you could put your reset file here, and I'll just say uh, reset file goes here um, if using one. Okay. All right, and then you could save that, and then that is pretty much it. That's all you're allowed to do to touch the uh, to touch this. Uh, page at all. Okay, everything else you just leave alone, and it's got all this other information down here um, about the other kinds of things that you could do in your CSS styling. Okay, on a separate page, but anyway, um, and then you've got the structure of the page here. Okay, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and save that uh, or close that. The other thing then you could have done is. Um, go ahead and make that style sheet because that's the next thing that you would need to do. So if I wanted to, then I could just say a new file from template. And this is if you're using Komodo, otherwise you would do it differently. Um, and then you would call it style, not styles, but style.css uh, because that's what it refers to in the actual HTML file. And then you got to make sure that you're actually picking the right thing. So uh, you would go here, click local and go find the correct thing, which is right there, and then just save that. Okay, and then you would save it, and then you could just start typing stuff in, okay? All right, so let's take a look then quickly at uh, the actual HTML file itself. I'm going to close Komodo. I don't need it anymore. And so this is what you're going to actually start with. It's going to look like this completely unstyled and then of course if you were to add a reset file it would look even less styled than this because it would be removing all of the styles from the browser style sheet okay so I just want you to be aware that this is what it's going to look like from the beginning and what I would recommend that you do is in your HTML if I go up here to view source uh, developer view source you're gonna see that you know we've got all of these different divisions in the in the uh, HTML. Okay, so I would recommend that you actually take this and print it, um, you know, on your your home printer or something like that. Preferably in color if you have that option, because you'll get the color coding. And then take some colored pencils or markers or something, and then start to draw uh, boxes around these different areas, these different containers, and so that you can start to see what's what. And then it'll be easier for you to actually be able to figure out which things are nested inside of which things and that's why I suggest maybe colored pencils or, or markers or something like that so that you can get a better sense of how the the page is actually structured um, you know so for instance uh, this header is inside of the section uh, whose ID is Zen Intro, for instance. Also, the entire page is wrapped in a div called Page Wrapper, so that helps you figure out how you could, you know, take the entire page maybe and center it or something like that. And <clears throat> so, like, let's say the the header is inside of the Zen Intro section, and also so is the div whose ID is Zen Summary, and then so is the preamble, right? So right now, what you've got is you've got this header. Uh, you've got the Zen summary and you've got the Zen intro all inside of this section. Or excuse me, I'm sorry. You've got the uh, header, you've got the Zen summary and the Zen preamble all inside of a section that's called the Zen intro. And so you can see that if you, unless you were like to change positioning with things that were absolute and fixed and stuff, inside of here, you could see that this whole unit would move together as a single unit. Um, if you were to style it that way. And so like maybe what I would do is draw a main, main box around this uh, Zen intro section and then maybe draw smaller boxes around the header, around <clears throat> the summary, and then around the preamble separately. So you can start to see how things uh, work. And then, then you've got this uh, main supporting role 
and inside of it, it goes for a ways because inside of that you've got the explanation, you've got participation, and participation is a couple of paragraphs. You can start to see how long different sections of the content are. You've got benefits, you've got then the requirements, okay, and then at the very end of that you have this footer. Now the footer isn't the footer to the whole page, it's the footer to that um, uh, main supporting section, okay, and it says role equals main, okay, so you know that's the main section. So the footer isn't a footer to the whole page, it's a footer to this section of the of the page. And then this is where the supporting uh, div ends. And then you've got this other thing that's the aside, it's complementary, right? So that means that uh, inside it there's also a wrapper in case you wanted to use that for some sort of styling. Um, and then you have this whole set of different selection options, right? So you've got um, the selection where you would get to pick a design, right? Um, uh, and then you've also got the design archives, right? That's a whole nother one. And then you've got Zen resources. So you can start to see how these uh, different lists are, are divided up inside of the aside. Okay, and then down at the bottom, you have all these extra divs, and these are things that you can use specifically just for presentation, like you could make them position absolute, fixed, whatever, and like you could make background images um, <clears throat> uh, assigned to them and make them certain sizes. And I'll show you how different people have used those, um, and they're you know just literally for decoration only. Okay, so let's go back here real quick, <clears throat> and this is the main Zen Garden web page. And then you could also click, uh, well, let me just sh actually just show you. So we were talking a little bit about like the header. For instance, this is the header, right? This is going to be the um, uh, intro. This is the preamble right here. And then where it starts saying, so what is this about, right? If you were to go back here and look at our example where it says, so what is this about? Um, that's where it starts. Uh, with the main supporting area, right? So you've got this main supporting area and then the first section inside of that is the explanation. So it's explaining it. So you can look at this and then you could look at this and see like where things actually go. And then you see that participation, for instance, all right, right? It, it, it looks different. It has this different kind of background. And then also remember the aside, it's got all these lists. This is the aside. So it's got its first list here and then it's got its archives here. And then uh, way down at the uh, bottom, this is where that footer was. Remember the, the footer that we were talking about? So you can just look at these different pages and kind of see how people push things around. And if I go here to view all designs, we can uh, actually take a, a peek if you look at this and you can see the thumbnails of all these different professional ones. Now, I want to give you a heads up on these. Some of these are old, and so they use some of the old uh, HTML. The HTML has been updated to HTML5, and so I want you to be aware that if you go and you look at, like, for instance, you look at this. This is one of the earliest ones that was really cool. Um, if you look at this and you right-click and you go to inspect or something, <clears throat> you're going to see, excuse me, <clears throat> Actually, this isn't a good example. This is using the HTML5. Um, they did update this one. Somebody updated this one. But a lot of these, if you were to go and look at some really old ones, for instance, um, let's see if I can find a good example. Let's see. Let's look at this one. Okay, and let's take a look, inspect this. And, well, I guess actually all of these are using HTML5, so... But there, I know that there are some in here that are using the old code, uh, so just just be aware of that if you were to go and you were to look at it, and you can see how somebody else chose to do this. I'm going to show you some examples of former student work, though, so you can get an idea of how other students have treated this assignment. 